As far as beef is concerned, the report showed that the average piece of Scotch beef is good in terms of eating quality. However, there's considerable variability, which means some consumers will get tough beef, and this is a concern for an industry which has to base its future on selling a consistently high-quality product. The Beef Eating Quality Trial set out to discover if using best practice in all aspects of beef production could produce a noticeable improvement in eating quality. On farm, this meant the use of steers and heifers out of beef suckler cows by a beef sire, and which had been suckled for at least five months. Cattle were finished on grass or, after grazing all summer, were finished on forage and concentrates. All the animals had to have achieved a steady growth rate, above 0.7 to 0.9 kg per day, depending on breed and sex. Also, it was vital they had suffered no major growth checks. Finally, the animals had to have been handled to minimize stress on farm and during transport. In processing, the best practice package included the electrical stimulation and hip suspension of carcasses and aging of the beef. The results of the study emphasize the importance of best practice throughout the chain. And consumer panels who tasted the meat showed a significant preference for samples which had been subjected to the enhanced processing practices in the abattoir. With beef cattle, we're really um, applying a combination of enhancements on farm and in the abattoir, and then seeing what we got, and we took animals from farms that were following our enhanced protocol, which primarily involved some restrictions on the diet of these animals, A, to ensure adequate growth rate of animals, and, and B, to avoid ingredients that might have included um, added off flavors. We ensured that there was careful handling of animals at all times, especially immediately prior to slaughter, and uh, then in the abattoir looked at considerate chilling, aging of carcasses, electrical stimulation, hip bone suspension. What we found there was that um, all of the samples, both from the uh, control group and the experimental group we were looking at, had achieved pretty good growth rates, so we, we didn't see any effective growth. But we do know from other trials that uh, checks in growth, low growth rates, do cause poor eating quality. Likewise, we, we think that these farms, both the control population and the uh, experimental group, had good handling of animals, they were, they were conforming to existing assurance standards in that regard. So we didn't pick up a major difference there. What we did find though is that post slaughter those um, enhancements, particularly um, aging, electrical stimulation and hip bone suspension do create a, a, an important further enhancement of, of quality. Beef can form part of a healthy balanced diet. In addition to providing a source of protein, energy and fat in the diet, red meat is also a valuable source of vitamins and minerals. Another bonus from eating beef is that it's a source of beneficial fatty acids. These days we're encouraged to include oily fish in our diets as a way of consuming omega-3 fatty acids that help to maintain body function. These same important fatty acids are found in beef, in particular beef from cattle that have been raised in traditional Scottish forage-based systems. To capitalize on these meat-eating quality and human health advantages, finishing steers and heifers need to maintain a moderate but consistent growth rate with no major checks along the way. Stress levels of cattle prior to slaughter have a significant impact on the eating quality of their beef, so cattle handling and loading facilities which minimize stress and risk of injury to both cattle and humans are important. Well, there's a number of ways that uh, consideration for animals in their own right can have an important impact. For example, bruising of animals. There have been a number of studies that have shown that this can be quite an important source of loss. So, for example, in the UK, uh, studies of sheep and, and beef have shown that it can be as much as 6%. Also, physical exercise is important. Excessive physical exercise before an animal is, is slaughtered uh, can lead to changes in the muscle, uh, and those muscle changes, if they're not allowed to recover, can then lead to important loss, well, important effects on meat quality, which are negative effects. And lastly, there's much more difficult area, but nonetheless, I think really important, which is, if you like, emotional stress, the psychological 
stress that can happen. And depending on the animal, you then get this emotional stress response, which in many ways can mim mimic the physical stress response. At Strathyla Farms at Meagle in Perthshire, Adrian Ivory has constructed a cattle handling system much admired within the livestock industry. Here, the angles and curves are designed to minimize stress, working with rather than against the natural instincts of cattle. Central to ensuring maximum returns from the beef enterprise is minimum stress during handling, and in that respect, Adrian Ivory's system works well. The sides are six foot high, so they can't see out and they won't jump out. I've always said that if anything jumps out, I'll enter it for the Grand National. So, and as they walk around, they're, they're obviously interested in getting out and they'll see a corner and they think, I want to know what's around that corner. So they run around the corner and they think, ah, oh, great, another corner here. And once they're around this corner here, you're down into the narrow race. So before they know it, they're actually in the, the area that we want them. This stop board here is extremely important. If this was see-through and we had their mates st stood in here, you'd never shift the animal from here. The other thing that's highly important on the system is the, is the curve. If the curve's too tight, the animal will never go round. It's got to be gradual. Uh, you, can probably, you want it about, I mean those are the ideal angles, you want it coming on that angle so that they come around and it's a bit like a snake, they just follow each other and when they come to the narrow point here to go into the race you'll be amazed that two or three of them will try and get down at at once. As soon as the first one's gone down the rest just shoot down quite happily after one another and you can just be stood on the top here and pull the non-return gate behind them. And then we generally won't work them in the crush unless they have to go into the crush for something. For example, worming them, vaccinating them or anything like that, we'll lean over the top and vaccinate them. The side of the, the race bit is uh, six foot high on the far side, but it's only five foot high on the five foot five high on the near side. And therefore you can just lean over the top and vaccinate them over the top and you don't have to worry them with the crush because a, a cow will remember the crush and that will stress it out so we we'll only put them in the crush if we have to the first time we used it we had the vet here just because uh, we were uh, ringing some bulls and we thought right we'll give it a bash and by the time I'd opened the gate at the back here and got them into the handling system and climbed the steps there they were already at the crush and he was gobsmacked. <laughs> he, couldn't, he couldn't believe it. He said, you sure you haven't had these through before? No, this is the first time and we haven't really looked back since then. A top of the range system like this doesn't come cheap, but Adrian Ivory believes that while not everyone will be prepared to invest as much as he has, it's the concept that's important and the principles of the design offer the opportunity to visiting farmers to take home ideas that they can introduce into their own systems. And the state-of-the-art system also benefits people like vets who visit the farm to handle Adrian Ivory's cattle. It, it gives us the confidence to be able to handle the animals at sort of regular intervals without the, the hassle factor. Uh, it's safer. It's uh, less stress for the people handling the animals and it's a lot less stressful for the animals as well. I think the, the way the cattle flow through the system uh, with sort of minimal stress is probably the, the, the feature that sticks out most. Um, the, the way they, they, they go into the race uh, without having the use of sticks or shouting or anything like that makes life an awful lot easier for both man and beast. Yeah. But if freedom from